Hello, my name is Cameron Campbell, and uh, I play guitar, but I, I play a very basic, um, uh, like a rhythm guitar, it's called, and uh, I chord for fiddle music and for singing, and uh, I'd like to uh, give you a beginner um, a beginner lesson on the, the guitar. So this is going to be um, basic guitar lessons, and um, I know people teach guitar lessons uh, different, but... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna teach you the way that I was taught, and it, it might not be right, but uh, in the end uh, the result is pretty much the same all the time. So we're gonna start off. Uh, I'm gonna start right at the very start. <laughs> okay. So uh, first of all, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna I'm gonna draw a little. Uh, I'm not much of an artist, too. Okay. So um, here's your here's your. Uh, We're looking at the guitar like this is this is the neck here. Okay, so we got these are these are frets here, and the frets are uh, on the guitar are what um, they, they kind of they kind of kill the sound. Like if you're if you're um, if your finger is pressing here, for example, same string. Okay, so the frets are on, on a, like say something like a, a different stringed instrument, like a fiddle, there's no frets. But the, it's it's just the same as, as playing a fiddle kind of where there's no, uh, but the fingering is on each separate fret usually. Not to confuse you with that, but uh, Okay, so this piece right here on the guitar, I call it the nut, okay? It's, it's the white piece here. Now, okay, so this is gonna be our nut right here. I'm gonna make it a little darker, okay? Can you read that? Okay, now we're gonna have like a... Okay. And then we got uh, one, two, three on each side, okay? And then the strings are gonna go This is just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about here. It's all gonna make sense in a few minutes. <laughs> okay, so my guitar is like this here. There'll be a pictures attached, I'm sure, to this too. Okay. Okay. So uh, the reason I said that uh, this is the nut. Okay. Um, this is going to be, uh, we're going to number the frets. Um, yeah, we're going to, we're going to, so this is going to be number one, first fret, uh, second, second fret, third, fourth, and fifth fret, well, for example, for now. Okay, so uh, the numbers from the nut to the first fret before them are going to be zero. Okay, so this is this area here is going to be zero. Anything before the first fret is going to be zero, and anything after the the first fret before the second fret is going to be a one, two, three, and so on. Okay. So uh, that's just to give you an example. Okay, now um, I'm gonna draw kind of a, well, I'll tell you an easy way to do it so you'll be able to see it. Oh, 
Okay, so the I, I, this is my thumb, obviously. So it's going to be the thumb. Okay. Uh, pointer. It's my pointer finger here. It's going to be P. That's going to be pointer. Thumb. Are you able to see this? Okay. And this is going to be my middle finger. You know, when you're giving somebody the middle finger. Okay. And uh, I call this one the ring finger. Okay. And uh, ring finger. And this one here I call the uh, pinky. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually call it uh, P I N K Y. Okay. So every time I use the pinky, I'm gonna be putting pinky down. Okay. <clears throat> so the way we're gonna be doing it is like say if I say I give you a note that says uh, uh, pointer finger, and then I'm gonna oh sorry I'm, I'm jumping ahead of myself. <coughs> Okay, now the strings are going to be, okay, this is going to be an E, That's your and that's, that's your uh, little E, I call it, a small E. And, and on the guitar, my guitar is like this, so a small E is going to be your first string, okay, small E. And then it goes uh, B. And then a G, G. Everybody wears a G string sometimes, or, or plays a G string. I mean, okay, this is a small E string, B string, okay. Uh, then you got your D is up here. D string, uh, A string, and uh, uh, I call it a <clears throat> I call it a big E. So I'm gonna call it the big E string. String. I'm pretty sure that's what they call it. Yes, I do call it the big E string. So that's the, there's six strings. It's gonna be, the, the starting from the small, the bottom of your guitar, it'll be E, B, G, D, A, and B. Okay, now if you, if you're getting a little confused, if you look back on the video, it's gonna uh, help you out uh, after. Maybe you'll get to look back at, everything I'm drawing here right now and, it, and it's all going to make sense for you okay <clears throat> so the way I'm going to do these uh, lessons I decided I'm going to show you eventually I'm just going to show you different chords that go together okay and uh, it's going to be up to you to master it until you get your next uh, your next lesson okay so I'm pretty sure that you guys will become better guitar players than me in no time, but this is just to get you started off, okay? So familiar with the guitar. So we got the nut, the nut here, and uh, uh, first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret, sixth fret, and so on, okay? And remember that between the nut and the one is zero okay zero so anything that's like say played in here that's going to be a zero and what we're going to do is we're going to put like say uh the the notes are going to say pointer finger uh third string okay so the so the uh, e string is going to be the uh, 
the E string is going to be the, the I, I don't want to con confuse you with this. So it's going to be, I'm, I'm going to say, uh, I don't want to confuse the numbers with the letters. So we'll keep the numbers and the letters separate. Okay, so I'm going to say, uh, for example, uh, pointer finger, um, G string, uh, first fret. And, and then, so you, you say, okay, so this is the G string here, the third one. The G string, yeah, okay, so that's the third one here. And uh, first fret, it's not the one between nut and one, remember? Because that's zero. So first is after the first fret. So then we'd find it right there, okay? And then another example, say so we're holding that one is uh, uh, middle finger, okay? So you're looking at middle finger. Um, first fret, so we're in here the first, first fret, um, little E string, so, okay, and then we're going to go to ring finger, this is all on your left hand or whatever, for me it's left hand, I guess some people might play the other way, um, it's going to be um, uh, B string, second fret, okay, and then we're going to go to the thumb, on, see now we're, for this chord, we're gonna use both E strings. We're gonna use thumb, first fret, so right there, with uh, a big E string. So you're gonna get chords. That's how you're gonna find your chords. Okay, are you getting this this part? Okay, so that, that's how I'm gonna explain your chords to you once we get started on chords. That's how we're gonna go, like, um, I'm gonna give you like, say, it's, it's gonna sound something like, uh, pointer, pointer finger, uh, G string, first fret. So we're gonna go, okay, pointer finger, G string is the third one from the bottom. And then it's gonna be first fret, so after the first fret, okay? So that's just a little idea about that. Now before we get into chords, <coughs> um, a lot of, uh, we're not gonna worry about uh, minor, like, say the minor chords yet we're, we're gonna work on uh, the basic standard chords <clears throat> right now first okay so the way i was taught when i was young was uh a key okay so a key for example consists of a combination of three chords Okay, so this is part one here. So for, for a fiddle tune, a lot sometimes you'll have like, uh, okay, what I'm gonna write here first is like, this is, this is an easy way to learn how to, which go together. A, um, B, C, D, E, F, G and then A again. Okay, so it goes A to G is, is our standard. <clears throat> now for this one here, I'm gonna start off. Okay, so th this is gonna say key of. Okay, so we're looking at the key of A, the key of B, the key of C, the key of D. Now the chords that go with them, it's actually pretty easy to make this chart as well. It goes D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. See, now you look, and then what I do is I take a triangle. Okay, so now the key of A has two chords with it, like I was explaining. A, D, and E. Now the key of B, all you do is you draw your triangle again. Okay, now this is very basic to start off. This is not, um, now we got C, F, and G, okay? Uh, D has G and A. 
So there's a chart you could look back at too. If you, if it's like say uh, you're recording for a fiddle player. Now, like I said, there might be minors in there, but to start off, we're not going to worry about those. You're going to look at every one that's in the triangle, and if if a fiddler says this one's in the key of uh, C, okay, you're going to look at your chart. Okay, so chances are it's going to be C, F, and G is my three chords that I'm going to play. If this one's in uh, F, for example, which I mean, obviously you don't see very often, but F, B, and C. So it's, it's going to be the two underneath that we have triangled with it. So this is my very basic chart here that's, uh, it, it's actually, you know, sometimes I even go back to it when I'm, when I'm looking at it. So key of A, right, is going to have D and E. Now just, this is something that you got to memorize, memorize after too. <clears throat> it's it's going to come to you after a while. So like I said, uh, key of D, G and A. The key of E, A and B. The key of F, B and C. The key of G, C and D. Now, on a guitar, you're moving up the, you're, you're moving up, this is, the scales are, it just keeps going around in a circle, okay? Like B would be here, and then, so that's, that's ba very basic. Okay, so, uh, today we're going to work on uh, the key of uh, D. This is where we're going to start. So the two chords that go with it are G and A. Okay. So now I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm going to tell you where to put your, uh, um, this is, okay, this way, go on one second now. I'm going to tell you where to put your fingers for D. Now for this week, I want you to master these chords. And if you can change from D, G, A, D, G, A, or D, A, G, or D, like if you can change back and forth by your next lesson, that's where you should be for us to move on to a different key. Okay, so basically all it's going to be is you're, you're going to practice familiaring these chords with, with, uh, with what goes together. So right now we're working on D, G, and A, okay? So, and uh, I'm going to have a, a paper at the end that, that I'll take a picture and I'll, I'll get the, I'll get them to attach it with this, with this video. So I'm going to show you the D chord and, I, and, and I'm going to, I'm going to go through it. I'll give you a little hint. D was the first one we did there. <laughs> That's okay. I'm going to go, I'm going to use my, my whole chart here now to show you the D chord. Okay. D is a little trickier because um, so you got, remember you got E, B, um, oh yeah, E, B, G, D, A, and then a, a big E, little E, big E, okay? Here's what the, here's what the, the D chord looks like, okay? So basically, the thumb on the top of the D just kills that big E. So, so it doesn't really, I mean, it, it can, okay, you can either kill it or you could, you could hold it. So that's what a D is going to sound like. Now, here's how you make a D. It's going to be, we're going to start off with our pointer finger, and it's going to be Pointer finger, uh, first fret, okay, so it's after the first fret, um, G string, okay, so this one right here, okay, sorry, right here, okay, now we're going to go to middle, remember, remember, we'll keep that one there while we're, while we're working on our, now we're going to go to middle finger, okay, uh, Still in the first fret, but on the little E string, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna go to ring finger, 
and it's going to be uh, second fret. So it's after the second fret. When I say second, it's after the second. And B string. Okay. So we have that one so far. Now, with the D, you put your thumb on uh, first fret, big E string. Okay. So that's, that's your... That's your D string, B chord, okay? Now we're playing in the, the key of D, not to be confused. They're all, these are all chords, but this chart here is to tell you which ones go with which. So don't be confused when I say it's a D chord. It, it, is, it is a D chord, that's a D chord there, that's a D chord, okay? So this is a D chord, the one that I just showed you. The reason why I'm, I'm doing the D chord first is because Let's say you're, you're recording for a song. You're likely going to start off in that D chord and these ones go along with it. Okay. So the next chord I'm going to show you is uh, an A chord. Okay. D, A, and G. <clears throat> okay. So A is a pointer finger. And it's going to be, you, you start your strings from, from here. Okay. Pointer finger, um, A string. No, I'm doing A, sorry. Okay, pointer finger, oh, sorry, sorry about that. Pointer finger, D string. <clears throat> so it's pointer finger. You find the D is the, the second, a uh, third one from the top and first fret. So we're right here. Okay, now we're gonna go to middle finger and it's gonna be um, G string, so it's right underneath that one. And uh, first fret again. So we're in the same fret. So what you have to do is <clears throat> you gotta turn your fingers a little bit and slide, you can slide your pointer finger as close to the first fret as you can, okay? For, especially for this chord, because we're gonna have, um, we're gonna have Actually, we're gonna have all three of these fingers in the first fret for this chord, okay? It, it, se it seems like it's a little, but I've seen guys with real fat fingers that can also get in there if, if you, you you turn your, okay? So now, so so far we got the 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 pointer finger in the in the middle middle finger, first fret, okay? Now we're gonna go to ring finger, uh, first fret again. So we're in here, this bracket, on the B string. Okay, and then everything else is open on the A. So here's how the A is gonna sound. This is how it looks here. And this is how it sounds, okay? <clears throat> so that's your A chord, okay? The next chord that goes along with the, with the key of D is the G chord. So, uh, for the G chord, you're gonna, and I'll, like I said, I'll have another paper, um, I'll, I'll have another paper here that, and my one that I have here, I would take a picture of it, but it just doesn't, it has the strings uh, labeled different. So for a G chord, we're gonna start off with the pointer finger again, and uh, first fret, so we're in here again, on the A string. Okay, so it's gonna be way up at the top this time. Now sometimes uh, when you're playing guitar, if, if, if your fingers are way at the top, you have to slide your, your thumb down a little bit. So, so it kind of looks, looks funny, then you drop your elbow down a little bit as well. Okay, some people, they, uh, like you, you can't play, sometimes you can't play a G chord like this here, you have to drop your elbow down. Okay. So back to, so we got pointer finger, first fret on the A string, right there. Now, <coughs> sorry, um, we got middle finger. See, th th now you know my method. I'm kind of putting pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, thumb, okay? So now we have the middle finger on the big E string, Second fret, so you're you're in this one now. 
sec after the second fret. So we got these two so far. Okay. Now we're going to take our ring finger and second fret. So you're after the second fret. Okay. Here's the second fret. You count from the nut one, two, and it's going to be little E string. Okay. So th then you got your G chord already. So here's how a G sounds. It's a three finger chord. A lot of them are three finger chords. So to recap again, I'm going to give you, uh, we're in the key of D, remember? <clears throat> and G and A is with it. So here's your D. Then you go to A. G. Okay, so you're in D. A. G. D. Okay, so if you... Uh, now, now, don't be overwhelmed by anything that's being said here because um, all you have to do is go back to your charts again. And it, if you can't change that fast, that's that's very normal. Oh, it doesn't sound like a top E is... Uh... Okay. So... Uh, the best part, the best thing to do is, like I said, I'm going to uh, also attach a picture of this. I guess I can just change the strings on here and then we can take a picture of it, what we have so far. I'll just change it quickly here. Um, so, it's going to be a G string for this. Uh, sm small e. And a b. Okay, it might be a little bit hard to read. And the, the thumb is on the big e. Uh, one, two, three, four is a D string. G. And B. The fifth is the A. A big E. And this is little e. Okay, so, uh, I mean, I'll have it written out better for you, but if you can, if you can see that, this is the, remember it's a G string. Um, it, it's all in, in the thing, but this is something just to kind of look back. This is the, um, the small, I guess it's small, not little, small, small e. That's the B string. And the thumb is on the big E. Okay. Now for the A, A chord is uh, the D string, G string, and B string. Now for the G, it's the A string, big E string for the middle finger. And the ring finger is on the, the little E string or the small E string. So did you, can you get a, can you get a video of that? Okay, so just just to take another video of that first. Okay, so yeah, they they can always look back, and uh, the next string next uh, time we do a lesson, I think we'll probably work on. Uh, we'll take one of the. It's gonna get easier and easier as we go along, because I think what we'll work on is uh, the key of A next time. The, the reason I started on the key of D. Is because you're learning the A already, <clears throat> and uh, 
these lessons probably won't be this long every time because eventually you're going to know all of this and you're, it's going to come natural to you. So now we'll, next time we'll work on the key of A and you'll already know your D. Okay, so it's got D and we're going to be learning the uh, E chord next time. So the next lesson should be a real easy one because if you, if you practice your, uh, the chords that I showed you today, D, A, and G, you'll already know D, A, and we'll only have to learn E, and, and we'll put them in some combinations. So if, if you're singing in D, uh, you'll, know, you'll know a song already, if you, you'll be able to sing a song if it's, in, if it's in D, G, and A. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, I hope to see you back again. And remember, uh, no matter what instrument you're playing, it's very important to have fun doing it. So don't get upset with yourself if you don't get it right away. And uh, practice makes perfect. And I'm still trying to uh, practice. <laughs> but uh, I'm really honored to be able to share what I know with you. And uh, I think a guitar is something that anybody can play. Anybody in the world can play guitar with these simple, uh, with these simple instructions. Okay? So thank you very much. And my name is Cameron Campbell. And uh, I'll see you next time.